you can oh, hi. get started. Hi, guys. Thanks for talking hi. to me. I appreciate it, Dean. It's nice to talk to you again. I, I talked to you not that long ago for leverage. It's been a little bit. <laughs> for Jamie, I love redemption, your I mean. Sorry? I love your background. Oh, thank you. I like yours, too. <laughs> Um, well, so first of all, just both of you, I'm not sure, just kind of tell me how you got involved in the show and how it sort of started, just in general. Um, well, uh, I, I was actually having a talk with uh, Michael Wright, who runs MGM Plus uh, uh, and used to run TNT when, when I did the original Librarians and the original right. Leverage. And we, we were just having a conversation about shows we'd like to see. And he, he said he really missed that diverse group of people in a contained environment traveling through space. And it just got me thinking and, and, and I went off and wrote this pilot. And, uh, you know, I couldn't imagine a better place to do this than Sci-Fi Channel. So I was really hoping they would dig it. And when they did, the very first phone call I made was to Jonathan, because Jonathan and I had worked together on The Outpost. And he's a way better writer than I am. So I was like, John, come in here and help me. And, uh, and he, he did. And, and it was uh, it was just a joy, a joy to work with him again. Yeah, I'm glad there's a there's another space show on sci-fi. <laughs> so what about you, Jonathan? How did well, I guess you he called you. I guess that's yeah. the answer. He called you. Yeah, that's the answer, exactly. <laughs> that's kind of a short answer. He called me, I read it, I loved it, and said, I'm in. So how how did the casting go? I mean, were you too involved in that? I I assume as oh, yeah. sure you were. Um, you know, I think the casting is 90% of, of a show. If, if you don't get the right cast, it doesn't matter how good the script is. Um, and I think uh, we we nailed it. I think we got very lucky with this cast. They're, they're, every last one of them are, are perfect for their parts. Um, it was a challenge. I mean, it's an international cast. They're from all over. Um, they're from the UK, from Zimbabwe, from Canada. Um, and, um, you know... We'll let the audience judge, but I think we nailed it. No, yeah, I've, I've, I've seen the first four. I very much enjoyed what I've seen so far. So, um, Dean, talk a bit about, because you directed the first episode, right, from what I got out of the Internet Movie Database. Okay, so talk about filming that scene where, I mean, I don't want to spoil things, but it's kind of at the beginning. They lose all the air, and it's kind of this big, well, that seemed like that would be very difficult, especially with that many people, too, to film that kind of stunt. Can you talk a little bit about that? Oh, it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. We we set out to, to do the episode and I'll never forget my my first AD, a, a brilliant man named Radosh. He looked at the script and he goes, all right, so we have eight days to shoot this episode. And I think that's going to be the entire first five minutes. <laughs> and I said, no, we, we, we'll get it done. We'll get it done in time. Um, but no, it was it was a combination of um, some some terrific storyboards that were done by a guy named Dave Duncan, uh, and uh, uh, these terrific sets that were built for us that that were very flexible, um, and uh, uh, then a combination of uh, old fashioned techniques of of putting actors on floating pads, you know, that were painted green, and then some CG uh, um, characters. So it was it was a really combination of a bunch of different techniques. Um, and uh, quite honestly, we didn't know if it was going to work or not until it was all put together. Jonathan and I kept biting our nails going, is this going to work? And when we saw the final version, we felt pretty, pretty comfortable with it. Yeah, it came out great. But I remember when I first read the script, I said, Dean, are you sure you want to do zero gravity? Won't that take the whole schedule? <laughs> and he said, we're going to make it work. <laughs> and he did. Is it hard, though? Do I mean, obviously, you have outside of space, but th this is in a sense of bottle shot. I mean, you have one kind of area, the, the spaceship. Does that make it harder or does that make it easier? Because, I mean, you have less to work with, but at the same time, you have to kind of make it, I guess, interesting, even though it's sort of the same relative area, I guess you could say. Well, a lot oh. of that came down to the design of the spaceship itself, which, you know, uh, 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 Randall Groves did. And, you know, because on one hand, we needed this to be a pressure cooker. You know, mm -hmm. that's the whole idea is that you've got this diverse group of people in a contained space. But at the same time, because it's a television series, we, we didn't want it to become Das Boot. We didn't want it to be so claustrophobic that, you know, after two episodes, you don't want to watch it anymore. So we designed some some areas of the spaceship to be very spacious and two stories with giant windows and others to be very contained. And depending on the mood, we could be in hallways, we could be in the bowels of the ship, or we could be in the observation deck or even in um, the dome, which has uh, organic material. Uh -huh. So you can have kind of a, a nature area, if, if you will. So uh, a lot of that came down to the design of the ship so that we could have a variety of feels, but still all be contained in one place. 
did you, I just, as I saw you were talking, just made me wonder, I was thinking about how there's kind of a, an overarching mystery, I guess, to this that I didn't really expect. Was that something that was, that was part of the story from the very beginning? I don't know why. I just, I'm, I'm curious kind of if that was added after or before, because I just, I didn't expect it anyway, going in. It wasn't what I thought it was about. So I was surprised. Not, not in a bad way. I mean, it was good. I liked it. Yeah. Well, I, I'll let Jonathan finish this answer, but I'll just start it off by saying, when I wrote the pilot, I set up a mystery. And when I showed it to, to John, he goes, so then what happens? And I went, I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> and then John came up with everything else. <laughs> um, he, uh, it, it, it's two mysteries, really. It's it's what the heck hit the ship the and, yeah. and who killed uh, Jasper. Um, and that, you know, that it's a, it's a great, I always call it. Uh, I always think of a of a script as being the arena. I mean, uh, the you know the conflict as being the arena in which you explore the characters, and that's a great arena to explore these characters in those those two together combined. Yeah, I love that there that there's mysteries kind of in you know in the background of it. I guess we'll say. Um, so, what was the hardest part though, just overall about bringing it to life? This kind of show, because this is, I mean, this is a big show with all the space and everything else. I don't necessarily mean like you know special effects wise, just in general, what was kind of that you can think of that. Well, I think that the, the the thing for us is that Jonathan and I have very ambitious ideas on what we want to do, but we had a very tight box when it came to how much time we had and how much money we had. Um, now, normally what you do is you just rewrite something and make it smaller and smaller, but we don't tend to do that. <laughs> so I think the toughest thing was to say, all right, well, we want to do this gigantic spacewalk, for instance. How are we going to do it? And then just using, you know, because Jonathan, aside from being a writer, he's a wonderful director. And since I direct as well, we, we're, we were able to kind of reach into our bag of tricks to say, all right, well, how do we achieve what we want with the resources we have? And it made it hard, but it also made it really fun and rewarding when we suddenly pulled off stuff that everyone looked at us and said, there's no way you could do that. Yeah. Do, do you direct any of, of the episodes, Jonathan? I don't, it, all it says is the one episode. It's all I know anything about. Yeah, I, I direct a finale. Um, I, I can't go to, to Serbia to direct the rest because until then, because I need to get all the scripts done. So I always, I almost always, when I'm doing a series, direct the finale for that reason. So you're, you guys are pretty far then. You have the whole season done. I didn't realize that. Yeah, we have the whole season done. Well, I mean, we're still doing post-production on something. Right, right, right. Do it's you have, shot. the two of you, do you have like a, without spoiling, obviously, like kind of a, a favorite scene that you can tease a little bit? You mean coming up or? Yeah, just in general. That's not so far in, it's so far into the series that people are going to be like, what? Do you have a favorite? I think I think there's there's too many of them to pick just one. Do you have one, Dean? Um, yeah, I, 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 you know, it's like which one of my kids do I like the most? <laughs> it's yeah. like, there's there's so many things, but I'll, I'll tell you though, without giving you a specific, my favorite thing is watching the interpretations by the actors of what we've written, because you know, Jonathan and I will will have conversations, we'll talk about ideas. But suddenly we'll watch the way an actor interprets it. And it just inspires us a thousand different directions where we thought we were going right. And then we watched the way these actors work and went, oh, no, 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 we have to go left. We have to go left. It's, it's, this is way better. And so, you know, even though our actors are not writing the scripts, they are they're having a huge influence on what we're doing with the characters because they live with the characters all day long. And, and things come out that we never anticipated. And every time we get to see something that we, we didn't expect but we like, <laughs> yeah. we get very, very excited. Yeah, well, I think it's good when you can adapt it that way though, too. It makes it makes it feel more real when they're, that they, you know, that they're their characters. All right, well, thank you both of you. I appreciate it. Like I said, I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the season. So, thank you. Thank you very much.